Gentlemen, welcome to Stratton Oakmont. You schnooks will now be targeting the wealthiest 1% of Americans. I'm talking about whales here. Moby fucking dicks. And with this script, which is now your new harpoon, I'm gonna teach each and every one of you to be Captain fucking Ahab. Get it? Huh? Captain who? Captain Ahab, from the fucking... Book, you from the book, you motherfucker, from the book. Turn your oh, fucking brain on. Fuck you. Listen to me. We're a new company with a new name. A company that our clients can believe in. A company that our clients can trust. A firm whose roots are so deeply embedded into Wall Street that our very founders sailed over on the Mayflower and chiseled the name Stratton Oakmont right into plain fucking rock. You got it? <laughs> what we're gonna do is this. First we pitch them Disney, AT&T, IBM, blue chip stocks exclusively. Companies these people know. Once we've suckered them in, we unload the dog shit, the pink sheets, the penny stocks, where we make the money. 50% commission, baby. Now the key to making money in a situation like this is to position yourself now before the settlement. Because by the time you read about it in the Wall Street Journal, it's already too late. And you wait. You wait. And whoever speaks first, loses. Sorry, uh, I, I appreciate the call. I really have to give this some thought and uh, talk to my wife about it. Um, can I call you back? They don't know, right? They gotta think about it, they gotta talk to their fucking wives or the fucking tooth fairy. Point is, it doesn't matter what the fuck they say. The only real objection that they have is that they don't trust you guys. And why should they trust you? I mean, look at you, you're a bunch of fucking sleazy salesmen, right? <laughs> so, what do you say? You mean to tell me that if I put you in at Union Carbide at a seven, it took you out at 32? Texas Instruments at 11 and took you out at 47? U.S. Steel at 16 took you out at 41? You wouldn't be saying to me right now, Chester, Pick me up a few thousand shares of Disney on the spot, right now, come on. I mean, honestly, Kevin, honestly, <laughs> seriously? I, I don't know you, you, you cold called me, you're a total stranger. I have a complete agreement with you, you don't know me, so I don't just know take you. take a moment to reintroduce myself to you, my name is Alden Kupferberg. Bobby Feinberg. Chester Ming. I'm senior vice president at Stratton Oakmont, and I plan on being one of the top brokers of my firm next year. And I'm not gonna get there by being wrong, right, Stan. I do wanna say that, you sound like a... <laughs> You sound like a pretty sincere guy. It's not gonna make you rich, and it's not gonna make you poor. But what this trade will do is serve as a benchmark for future business, Kevin. Do you feel comfortable with me now, Scott? And then you'll know for sure that you finally found a broker on Wall Street that you can trust and who can consistently make you money. Sound fair enough? No, yeah, you're, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. What do you? I don't know, what do, you, what do you think? Kevin, you give me one shot here on a blue chip stock like Kodak. And believe me, Kevin, the only problem <laughs> you're gonna have is that you didn't buy more. Sound fair enough? <sighs> Shit, my, my, uh, <laughs> my, my wife might divorce me, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Excellent choice, Kevin. How much you want to go for this time? Let's do five, five thousand dollars. We try eight thousand, Kevin. All right, let's do ten. Ten. Do you want to do that? Excellent choice, Kevin. Let me lock in that trade right now and get back to you in a few minutes with an exact confirmation, Kevin. Right. And welcome to Stratton Oakmont. Thanks, man. I'm gonna have a beer. <laughs> this is fun. Take it easy, Kev. Hey, uh, thanks, Jordan. Thanks a lot.